Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to integrate Mailgun into uh, into Email Jeet and send emails using Mailgun. Well, that's very easy with Email Jeet because Mailgun has an SMTP interface, and you can do this very easily by clicking on Select Mail Accounts. It will list all the mail accounts that you already have. Okay, so click on Manage, and then click on Add to add a new mail account. And you will see a list of all the mail accounts that it supports and the best way to go to add any mail account even mailgun is to use the smtp because the api is sometimes are less reliable than smtp it's always working better i found that in my own personal experience so let's go and get that done with mailgun click on smtp give it a name so maybe we can call it mailgun and then we'll need to fill in the SMTP details, the from email ID. So here you will fill in the email ID that you want to sell, to send the mail from. So it could be like my name and then my email at mydomain.com, whatever you want. That will be filled in there. Then we'll need to put in the survey address. And I want to show you where to get this detail from Mailgun. So this is the app dashboard when you load up Mailgun and if you scroll down you will see your custom domains, your domains which you have added to Mailgun. So click on the domain that you want to work with and here's the domain page where the details of the domain will be provided. You can see that there is the SMTP address for Mailgun and this is your server that you need to put in the server details in email Jeet. So let's put that in. Put in the server details. Come back to Mailgun and the, the the port for mailgun is 2525 or 587 and we can use both but i will tell you where exactly to find it before that we also need to put in a server login which is your login for the server and if you put it in email cheat you will need to put it over here in username coming back this is your password that you need to give to email cheat put in the password now Mailgun does not give you the details of the default SMTP port that you should put in but if you do a quick Google search you will find the ports that it, you can use with email Jeet. It supports all the common ports 25465 and 587 and there's a little helpful article right over here which tells you about the different ports and how to use them. So the port that you should actually use should be 587. This is the default port and this is the best port to use with Mailgun. So in email Jeet, let's put in 587 for the port and we are not going to use SSL. So this is all you need to do to set up Mailgun for mailing. Make sure you have a domain already registered on Mailgun. I will show you exactly how to do that in a moment. But now click on save and now that's already done. Let's see how to add a new domain to Mailgun. So when you click on the domains link over here, right on the top, the menu, you will see a list of all the domains that are added to Mailgun currently. And you can add a new domain by clicking on add new domain, give it a name like my domain 5 or 45.com, whatever your domain is, you have to put it there. Then click on add domain. Now Mailgun will give you some settings. Now these settings are not vital to put in, but if you put them in, you will have better deliverability and I highly recommend that you put it in. It's not difficult uh, to add these settings. In fact, Mailgun will show you how to add these settings, you know, in various hosts. This is, uh, this is called SPF and DKIM settings. So you gotta add these SPF settings and this is your domain key settings, DKIM and this is your DNS record for tracking. So add these things and this is a DNS report for receiving. You don't want to receive mails. You shouldn't have to do that. But if you add these three things, you will get better deliverability through Mailgun. And of course, you'll be able to track your emails better. And Mailgun makes it where, you know, very easy for you to do that because all of the data is here along with examples. So do that and you will experience a big jump in your mail delivery and in your inboxing. Because when you put in these settings, when you put in the SPF and DKIM settings, the sender will know that uh, you need, the sender will be able to use them to authorize themselves to send your email on behalf of your domain and the receiver will know that this domain that this, that this mail is coming from an authorized domain and they'll be able to inbox it better so this is how you add your uh, you, you add the setup for mailgun and you add it to email cheat